<laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female earthlings. Fuck. I almost fucking spit on that one. <laughs> God, Neil. I shouldn't say this. But hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. <laughs> Don't encourage him. He's <laughs> lighting up. We know. <laughs> Our research indicates we are being what is known as a fuckboy. <laughs> Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me today, and I'm glad you did, because I've got something pretty great for you, and that is another episode of Coffee Talk with Zach. Coffee Talk? <laughs> it's still a lazy day. I'm still sick. We're still not dressed up. We still got drinks, though. I'm drinking, uh, for my health, a, uh, a lemon ginger uh, green tea, and it's very good. And this is the same cup of tea from last episode. Hell it's a, yeah. It's a peppermint green tea, and it's delicious. And I wish it's... I'd added some honey and sugar to it, which I'm going to do on the next cup I make. Oh, very good. Well, uh, we're back in this world. Last time we... Um, we hoped that Myrtle wasn't committing corporate espionage and, and <laughs> watching Rachel and Hendry work out some father-daughter issues about the music industry. Um, and now, uh, a very gross industry. Yeah, very gross industry. Lots of entertain. The entertainment industries are typically very gross um, historically um, and presently. Who knows? But probably uh, not to throw shade. But hey, whatever. Um, but yeah. So we're back in Coffee Talk, and apparently somebody's here before open. Da, da, da. Let's find out, shall we? Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're not open yet. <laughs> oh, Neil, you've come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something that you can do. What is it? Can we work here? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, excuse me? What? Is it possible for us to work here? What? Why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. We need money for dates. <laughs> <laughs> we need employment to avoid the space INS. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and nonverbal communication here. Pheromones are ineffective. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I can see your communication skills improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true. I mean, you did just use the colloquialism of blow our mind. Yeah, he's getting better. But it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned, we learned them here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you can finally get the job, if you get it at all. Oh. There's this bullshit website called Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> let me think this over, if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for our spontaneity. But it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Thank you! I love that it lights up when he's happy. Yeah. But with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. <laughs> Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with with bleh, dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. 
They might come just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy. But you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Like that website I mentioned earlier. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking, or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. <laughs> well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though, to help you keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation. <laughs> but it will make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. What you say to me? <laughs> it is. All right, then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Let's start the night. All right. That's an interesting twist. I didn't see okay. coming. Better keep this cup at the ready just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Holy wow. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. <laughs> hey, boys, what's going on here? Well, Neil's working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero. <laughs> oh, man. For an alien invasion. <laughs> it is not that. Neil's just helping out. And then you it does a slow. Look. It does a slow pan to me, and I'm like, and like my eyes are all fucked up, and it's Neil. Neil's got like tentacles going up, like through the back of my head into my skull, and I'm like, <laughs> like little, little, yes, like little tendrils coming out of your nose, like yeah, and I'm like, everything is fine. <laughs> what can I get you today? And I'm being like, it's almost like marionetting, like the way he's because he's still learning how to control. Now yeah, it's a carrying crossover. So much. You've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. It's because it was a heavy me episode last the last time. That's why. Mm. Well, I, I, I the the tea is still like really hot, and so I like I swallowed it. It was very hot on like the back of my throat. Oh, I feel worse. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. I want Earth to conquer me. <laughs> <laughs> Step on me, Space Daddy. <laughs> Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived and we came to a conclusion. Before starting another breeding mission, <laughs> we should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agree to this? On one condition, I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade? What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. I want to see your face. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you could be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. <laughs> Freya. If I still need to write for the paper again. Hmm. What happened? The chief found out. Oh. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yes. How did she find out? Remember my fateful meeting with the higher up? In the elevator? Yes. The same thing happened with my chief. Oof. They met each other in the lift. And the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. Hmm. The chief called me into her office. And things went downhill from there. 
She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that? Hope that it sells well. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? How about a warm cup of drink? There's your episode here, title here. right there. Here, here. It is on the house. Now you can't go. You can't be going and doing that, there, Neil. <laughs> huh? You're allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. Oh. No, he's, it's okay. He's, it's on the house. <laughs> Way to cock block me. That was he's, a nice thing learning. to do, Neil. He's learning. That was the best thing to do, according to our senses. <laughs> it was. So what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite? I totally thought you were just going to talk into the teacup right there. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. I trust you with the decision. Uh, I want to try that fucking... Oh, okay. See what it, uh... What yeah! It... Oh, that's, it's just called honey cinnamon chocolate. That's not great. Um, give her some, she like, we know she likes coffee, coffee, coffee. So do coffee. Oh, interesting. Mint coffee, there we go. Okay. Here's your drink. Especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is gonna brew it? Thank you so much for this. Oh, she likes it. I always wonder why your place only served hot drinks. But today I might have an idea why. <laughs> what? How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood. That sounds doable. You know who else is of our uh, acquaint well, your acquaintance, my friends, is working on a uh, on a creative book now? Oh. Zach Davis. Oh! Oh, good for him. He's got a really cool anthology idea. Uh, we were talking about it the other night because I was telling him about some of our stuff. And uh, and he's been working on that, so I encouraged him to. Oh, yeah. I'm surrounding my friends to be writers. <laughs> Even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the races. And we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. <sighs> I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. <laughs> it was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Mm. Oh. We are glad to hear that, then. <laughs> it was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. <laughs> Languages will keep on changing. Understood. Especially if there's like a parasite out there. It's a vocal cord parasite that targets specific languages. And it's a really convoluted <laughs> story. <laughs> At least we are here now to learn the basis of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask. Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? Yeah, words per minute. 
How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number, but full time, I should be able to write between three and 5,000 words per day. That's a pretty good turnout. Hmm. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. <laughs> According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. That is a good information. Yeah, that was a... <laughs> There's, a, there's another runner-up for the episode title. <laughs> How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's GRA Media. Biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words... It seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judge writers by their ability to write a large number of words, <laughs> then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. Valid. It's true. That is pretty hard to understand. But we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter. <laughs> Just imagine him in like an art gallery. <laughs> hmm. Even for Earthlings. Yup. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand. Yup. From languages to arts. Write again. <laughs> but you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So it is still a valid parameter. Definitely. Cool. <laughs> that didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Myrtle. Uh, uh, uh. I won't even ask. <laughs> Except for one thing. <laughs> Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. <laughs> coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Coffee, coffee, ginger. Jai Tubruk. Tubruk. Sounds like a drink from Dune. <laughs> Your order is ready. Mm, not bad. Thanks. If, if you remove your hand from the Jahe Tubruk. <laughs> <laughs> Just Paul sitting there with his hand in like a big gulp of fucking steaming hot coffee. <laughs> it's also what the Fremen were making on on the uh, on Dune when the Sardaukar arrived. <laughs> Which is funny as shit because if no one has seen a Red Dune, none of what we just said made sense. Yep. So go go read or watch Dune. Yes. That's Do it. that's valid advice for life. That's that's your homework from Sam versus Sam. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Well, I'm here to tell you about the corporate espionage I performed. Neil. Oh, indie developer. <laughs> Some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. Actually, I'm not just here to just sit without being disturbed. Huh? Pardon us? 
I was just trying to kneel on how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid? Uh, oh! No, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other? Yeah, it's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen, which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve. Frey is just fucking soaking it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we will try. Step by step. <laughs> one small step for you. Might be one giant leap for your kind. <laughs> that was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, <laughs> are you here for someone then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just... We're fucking now. Whoa. Here she is. She slammed that door. I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... What is this? <laughs> What's happening here? I already told the priest, the local, to the cops, he's, he's good free here. Where's the, where's boys? Nisak, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, yes everything is fine. safe. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Like, a small trickle of blood. <laughs> so the tentacles the are coming out of the mouth. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the blood slowly tearing down the yeah. side of his eyes. Uh, okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. <laughs> uh, how do you brew water? <laughs> uh, ginger? Sprays me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. It is all right, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. That would be a very human thing to do. Yeah. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. So, here is the deal. Oh, he said here's the deal. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, boys. It's nothing, really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As <laughs> if this place cares about business. <laughs> Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Couchella. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you going to do at Couchella? According to our research, there are many breeding towns oh. during Couchella. He's, listen. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. It's just, it's funny. <laughs> that is why we decided that we will go to bang a party girl on Molly. <laughs> Molly. 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 <laughs> the song starts. <laughs> that is why we decided that the event will be our next target. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> Yeah. But you, didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes. We noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about Earthlings. Including the breeding manners. I'm just here to watch. <laughs> yep. That is what we will study in Couchella. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female earthlings. Fuck. 
I almost fucking spit on that one. God, Neil. I shouldn't say this. But hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. Don't encourage him. <laughs> He's just lighting up. We know. <laughs> Our research indicates we are being what is known as a fuckboy. <laughs> we also surprise ourselves. <laughs> but please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. He, like, tries to vault and just completely bungles it, like, knocks a bunch <laughs> of shit over, tumbles into us. <laughs> Uh, yup. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Uh, it's nothing. We're just friends, you know? We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see? I thought your research was in computer graphics. The president's on the line. <laughs> yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander. So, I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly. But she arrived first. So, I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But... Wait. If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, not your. <laughs> At a boy, Neil. <laughs> oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyway? It's so like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. If, if, does he see the subtitles? I think he might see the subtitles. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. That's funny as fuck if That's as an alien he could see the subtitles. Oh, look at the issue 24-7, a beat to relax slash study to. We just got. I think we might have we might have heard all the songs now. Because this is new. No, this so, is this is uh this is one we've heard in every episode. Oh, I don't remember this one. But we got an achievement for some kind of music, so who knows. So, you're done with your game? There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix. But players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about the pacing, control, and UI, UX. <sighs> Must be fun to have finished working on your creation. It surely removes some of the weight off my chest. Just to replace it with another weight. And there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And then I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. Ugh. You don't have to talk about that in front of other people. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to- it's just that sharing is caring, you know? Mm, okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I really am sorry. I know, I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. 
Ugh, Aqua. I'm sorry if I sounded that way. But yeah, I kinda get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. Been working on something for two years straight. But no one outside the office knows about it. And those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under friend DA, okay? Alright, I'm not with the paper anymore anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP. Or, worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? <laughs> That's what I thought, at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years. Fucking, that, I know that feeling. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototype. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai, <laughs> that's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle. They need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in? No wonder you folks were considered the Seven Samurai. I guess, yeah. And, by the way, Myrtle, I just realized... What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Mm, before I joined the company, I guess. That's like four years ago! Uh-huh. Dude, no <laughs> wonder you're so burned out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why! You need a vacation! But I can't just take one. You can! <laughs> In fact, you will do it tomorrow! Oh. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet! You will take it tomorrow, the day after... And, a day, and another day after, off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Ooh. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey! Okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm, alright. Oh, I'm so excited! Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now. And prepare for our getaway. Hmm. I'll come with you. Hmm. Uh, to my apartment? Hmm. No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Hmm. Oh. Okay, then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. I'm like, ah, I forgot he was there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, fuck. it's like that meme with The Office where it's, where it's like Dwight going, fuck. Yeah, Angela's with Angela. <laughs> okay, see you folks later. Oh, vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know. But not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. <laughs> Go team! <laughs> <laughs> I have a vacation coming up. I'm taking 10 days off. Uh, nice. I'm leaving directly from work next Thursday. Finishing out the week up in New York, spending the next week up in New York, and then driving back the following Sunday. Mmm. Nice little 10-day break. Nice. Thanks, Neil. 
Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going on with? Do you want another drink to be going on with? That's a weirdly structured sentence. Hmm. Still on the house. I definitely won't say no. Hmm. Lemony, Lemony snippets. snippets. Oh. Ah. All right. Ah. 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 Hi, Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> October second, twenty twenty. Let's see. Evening Whispers is with the people for stricter gun laws. Uh oh. Uh oh. Zach, calm down. Zach, calm down. <laughs> New healthier fury sedative might be available sooner. Action video game Rising Hell blamed for violence in school. Oh god. <sighs> the 90s oh, Republicans man. are at it again. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for joining us uh, <laughs> on this episode of Coffee Talk. Uh, we're going to keep going and keep having fun and keep playing. And uh, yeah, we're having a good time. Uh, I just want to do my housekeeping thing. My brain turned off for a half second. Do the good YouTube thing. Hate like, to see it. Comment and subscribe. Let us know we're doing a good job and hit the bell notification uh, if you would like to know when new episodes of whatever we're doing come out. YouTube will tell you in specific to be going on with. <laughs> I was have, a little to, bit of, have a little bit of a start there? No, I was trying to structure it like that weird sentence. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and as always, I would like to remind you, have a great life. Thank you very much. 